hey you guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day today if you're new here my name is Aaliyah j and if you're not new here welcome back i miss you and i love you a lot of you have been asking me about my current makeup routine and i don't know why it looks so different maybe it's because the sun is coming out <laughs> I have no clue. I have really, really, really requested this and really, really wanted this video. Everything that I use will be linked down below. So you can literally purchase everything down to my primer, my moisturizer, my eyelashes, literally everything, okay? Um, so the first thing I do is I start off with a moisturizer. I have really dry skin. So just let that be clear that I have dry skin. So if you have oily skin, some of this stuff might not work for you because I use stuff for dry skin. Um, so this is my favorite moisturizer. I cannot use any other moisturizer ever or else I will break out. I know that sounds crazy, but my skin is like, my skin does not play, okay? My skin be having me on a chokehold. Like, bitch, where's my lotion? Like, where's my Nivea cream? I swear like that's how I feel like so I have to use this lotion or else I'm doomed the Nivea cream so they have Nivea lotion and Nivea cream and the Nivea cream just works really good for me I use this as a primer I use this as a everyday lotion I use this as like literally everything sometimes when I break out I have to like take globs of this and literally plat like splat it on my skin and just let it sit there and my skin will clear up like I don't know what's in this stuff but I want it like I need it I need to get the ingredients to this I need to get in the lab make my own little formula you know what I'm saying because this stuff is amazing I moisturize my face first and I also do my neck so my skin has been really dry lately because um, I ate like two bowls of cereal the other day. My skin does not like milk. The key to flawless makeup is knowing what your skin likes and doesn't like. My skin does not like any other lotion and it does not like whole milk. I have to get some like almond milk or something. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is my brows. So I'm using this uh, beauty blender like spoolie brush I got this from Sephora it'll be linked down below and I really love this because look at how it looks it has a comb on one side and a spoolie on the other side sometimes when you have these on the end of like a eyebrow brush it just has a spoolie I like this one because it has an eyebrow brush I mean not a brush a comb I like this because it's a spoolie and a comb so disclaimer my brows are literally nuts right now um, I've been growing them out so they look like, you know, a little crazy. I didn't like the shape that they were. So I just been growing them out. Um, I'm moving on to <laughs> some edge control. Yes, edge control. This is made for your hair, but my brows is hair. Like this is hair on my face. Edge control just works. I don't put a lot though, because I don't want my brows to be oily. So I just take it on the comb and just shape my brows to go upwards so when I do my new brow shape I want to do a little more natural and I also want to do my brows to go upwards so I'm gonna do some brow lamination so now so now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow wiz and this is in the color dark brown and I just use this to fill in my brows I never do my brows on camera anymore because they take so long these little hairs I kind of just ignore those little hairs and just follow where I would like it to be and I always start on the bottom first and I use a really really light hand as well so I just make that line and then I connect the tail on the top and I also like fill in a little bit while I go but I use a really light hand like I don't like my brows as dark as I used to like them but because they're not done I have to still kind of like you know I gotta finesse it okay and then when I get to this point I start using the upwards motion and kind of like flickering like fake hairs okay and then I take the spoolie and I brush through 
my entire brow and this is just this just blends the hair okay so I'm gonna be using a new brush today this is the Huda Beauty face conceal and blend brush um, I'm gonna be using this to conceal my eyebrows and for concealer today I'm gonna be using the born this way uh, multi-use sculpting concealer I love this concealer I'm in the color cookie right now sometimes my color changes depending on where I'm at or what I've been doing so I'm gonna take some of that concealer and I'm gonna just carve out my brow and like clean it up a little bit my brows are like really two different people and then I do the top honestly brows is like the longest part of my makeup and I hate it I actually thought about getting some microblading recently but uh, mm, I don't think so Okay, so now it's time to move on to the base. So first things first, I am going to prime. So I have a few primers that I really, really love right now. So I have the Garnier's Green Lab Brightening Serum Cream. This is what it looks like. And this is in the Pina C. And I really, really like this one because this is so hydrating and it gives you just like this really nice shine. You don't even have to wear it like under makeup. It's used as a moisturizer and primer. So you could wear it even if you're not wearing makeup. I love this. And this is really good for dry skin. And then I also have the NYX Bear With Me um, Daily Moisturizing Primer. And this one has cannabis sativa seed oil in it. And this one is like almost the same exact thing. Um, out of these two, I feel like this one is a little more hydrating but this one has a little bit more shimmer in it so i really 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 love these like love love these today i'm gonna use the garnier green labs so i'm just putting that on my fingertips and i am just putting this all over my face and it stuff smells so good it's so hydrating you see how it gave me like a shine and like a glow so you could kind of like just use this as a serum slash moisturizer and it has like this just nice soft touch to it like it just keeps you really soft and hydrated the foundation I'm gonna be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous silk foundation and this is in the color 365 C now of course my color changes depending on you know where I'm at what I'm doing who I'm with <laughs> okay i really like this one because it's hydrating and it just looks like skin like i don't know it just looks so good i've been trying to figure out how many squirts i do so i do like one and a half squirt and i just put it all over my face i usually blend this out with a beauty blender but i've been using brushes lately i haven't used brushes to blend out my foundation in years so i kind of just been getting back into that habit i'm using the elf ultimate blending brush and i'm literally just gonna tap that in as you can see it looks like skin literally this foundation is really hydrating so if you have oily skin this probably won't be good for you because um you know it's luminous and it has a lot of oils in it so any foundation that has a lot of oils in it i have to use because other than that i'm gonna be crack lacking okay So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way. This is exactly what I used on my brows. And I have went through so many concealers lately and nothing compares to this one. Like, you guys, I am in love with this concealer. When I tell you this is like a holy grail for me, like, I don't think I will ever, ever, ever change this concealer. Like, ever. Like... I truly can't see myself wearing anything else because for one it's so full coverage like it literally covers everything and you can use it for so many things and the colors are just spot on like they have so many colors in this collection I'm gonna let this concealer sit and let it dry down a little bit that way I kind of get a really nice full coverage look um, 
I like to just let it, you know, dry down. So to blend out my concealer, I have three options. These are the options I have. So this is the normal beauty blender by the Beauty Blender brand. Um, you know, typical beauty sponge. And these are two sponges that I also love. So this one is an e.l.f. sponge and this one is about like $6. It's so, so, so good. I think I'm going to use this one today. And this is also an e.l.f. sponge. Look how big this is. I don't know if you guys see that. But this is like, this. I don't know, this sponge is huge to me. Um, I just got this not too long ago. It's my first time using it. Um, the other day so this will be my second time and it was kind of cool so far you know nothing too big I really can't blend in there so I'm just gonna use this to powder and use this to blend out okay so I let it dry down and I am gonna blend it out and I you see how it's like I gotta really work to blend it out I like that I like that a lot I don't know like I just see the difference like yes Too Faced Too Faced did that with this concealer okay like ugh, the color everything I love it so I'm just gonna blend this out I always start at the edges of the concealer because that's where I like really want to blend the most and I start to blend right under my eye and then I take it on my eyelid as well. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my contour stick, and this is in the color. This is in the color chestnut. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is actually a foundation stick, um, but I use it as contour, and I literally just put like a little line like that like the smallest line because I feel like this spreads very easily and I don't have to contour that much because my cheeks are like I don't know I feel like my cheeks are naturally contoured somewhat and I just pat that into my skin and blend it so that there's no harsh lines and it just doesn't look crazy you know we don't want to look crazy out here like that it just adds some color back to my face you know some dimension so now i'm going to take this elf sponge and i am going to go into my setting powder the setting powder i'm using is by laura mercier and this is in the color translucent honey i actually did a whole video on this um and i just talked about you know how much i loved it and i did a whole review on it um, so I'm going to take some on my wet sponge and I'm actually going to pat some away like that so that it's not like too crazy. And where I'm going to pat this is like literally right in here. This is what matters to me right there. So I'm going to pat. I'm just blending out first, but I'm going to pat super lightly right there. I'm actually not going to use that anymore. I'm going to use this. I don't think, I think it's too big for me, you know? I don't know. But I'm going to pat that right there. I'm going to take some on the Beauty Blender brush and I'm going to put some on my chin. So everywhere I put the concealer, I am going to put this powder. Yeah, I don't think I, I like this, but just maybe not for bacon because I need a pointed edge, you know? So these two beauty blenders I would use for concealing and bacon, and this I would use for bacon, but I'll show you where. And I'm gonna put some here and just pat it in. The key to this is not taking a whole bunch on the beauty sponge. Like you literally wanna take a tiny bit like this. And I'm gonna pat some on my nose and my forehead I'm gonna take a little bit more and put some just like that and I'm gonna just bake for like a few seconds literally I don't really have to bake because I have dry skin so when you have dry skin you really don't have to bake like 
you truly truly don't and i'm gonna take the leftover and just pat pat it on my face i'm gonna take some powder put it on my eyelids i like so i like matte makeup now i barely use highlighter anymore like i literally love matte makeup like literally and then i'm gonna take this beauty sponge and i'm gonna go back into that i'm gonna go back into this beauty sponge and put it on this uh flat edge side and i am going to cut my cheek area where my contour is um this gives me like that snatched look and because of this a lot of people think i got cheek fillers I never had cheek fillers in my life. I would never do that. Um, I have really full cheeks. So, I don't know. I think it's because of this. Like, it literally, like, cuts it. And people think I have, like, fake cheekbones. Um, and I like that look. But I don't have to get face fillers for that. So, now I'm going to take this brush. This is by Laura Mercier. This is, like, one of my favorite powder brushes. Like, I probably will never go to another powder brush. This is the only brush that i love and i'm gonna take that brush and just pat that powder in and like i'm like patting it away but patting it in as well and then i'm gonna take whatever's left over and just make sure everything else is matte and now we're gonna go in with some contour so i'm using this bronzer by benefit this is the hula bronzer in the color caramel and i'm taking this just regular powdered morphe brush and I'm literally gonna literally like get the tiniest bit and I am going to pat that cream contour in so I'm not gonna wipe I'm gonna pat it in because when you wipe you like drag it down and it just creates a mud you know so I'm gonna pat that in and it just makes it look a little more flawless when you pat when you swipe it it just gives it like a it's just really harsh when you pat it it makes it like blown out more gradient I'm also gonna take that and put it on my chin as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the powder brush again and I am going to pat that powder in that I put under my chin and I'm gonna blend the contour and all of that powder together. So the eyeliner that I like to use now is the Huda Beauty Life Liner Eyeliner. And I got this at Sephora and um, it's a dual ended eyeliner. So on one end you have a pencil eyeliner which I have been using lately. And on the other end you have a liquid eyeliner. But the reason why I buy so many of these is because I, as much liquid that they say is in the container which is 1.5 milliliters. I do not believe that that much is in here because I feel like I use this like four times, five times, and it's like gone. And I don't know what that's about, but I don't feel like as much eyeliner as they say is in here. Like, I buy so many. You don't understand. Like, I have like, I feel like I buy like one once a month, which is. No one wants to buy that much, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. The reason why I like this eyeliner is because it is so matte and jet black. This is like the most jet black eyeliner I have ever, ever, ever came across. I'm gonna just do my eyeliner. I really can't talk and do this on camera. I barely do it on camera, but let's do it. So this is the eyeliner. I love my eyeliner. Y'all know I am the eyeliner queen. Okay. So the mascara I've been using lately is the NARS Climax Mascara. Um, I really used to be obsessed with the Better Than Sex Mascara, but the Climax, I tried it one day and it like literally is amazing. Like this is one of the best uh, mascaras on the market. So it's Better Than Sex, but I feel like these two have competition. Like. The Climax is just really dark, really deep. Oh my God, my eyeliner got messed up a little bit. It's all right. So now it's time to apply some lashes. So the lashes that I've been wearing are by Patrick Star, One Size Beauty, and these are the lashes I've arrived. Now, I really love these lashes because you know, I like have my own type of lash vendor, and these are the type of lashes that I wear and request. I've never seen these in Sephora, 
um, ever. Like no brand has ever had them. Patrick Star. Patrick Star really did put these in Sephora, which I'm really proud of him for because you know these type of lashes is not as popular um, in Sephora. So he was one of the first people that I seen have like 35 millimeter uh, comparable lashes. I'm not sure if these are mean, but these are the lashes that I wear all the time now. So now I'm going to take the Hudo Bumi pencil liner on the other end and I'm going to line my bottom line. I just started doing this recently. I stopped wearing on the eyeliner on the bottom for like four years. Like I haven't done that in so long but I've been really 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 liking the look lately. And then I'm going to go in with some mascara. So now it's time to add some blush. I'm going to go in with this ColourPop blush and this is the Secret Crust. Crust. This is this is the Secret Crush Press Powder Blush. Then this Elf Point Tip Powder Brush to apply, and I'm just going to literally dab. Remember what I said about dabbing? It makes it look a little more like gradient. Okay, and then I go back in with my powder brush and just kind of like tap that. I kind of like tap everything in. Okay, so now I am going to, so I'm going to do my hair and put on my outfit and then I'm going to come back for my lip color. Okay, so I did my hair and put on my jewelry. Um, so now I'm going to do my lips. I am going in, I'm going in with NYX lip liner and this is in the color, what color is this? Toast. So this is in the color Toast. So now I'm going in with this MAC lipstick and this is in the color Influentially It. And I'm literally just patting a little bit on my lips. And I have so many options for lip gloss, like I don't even know which color I wanna do. So I could either do MAC see-through, which is a super, super nude lip gloss. And I can also use one of my favorites, which is Marc Jacobs. And this is Cream and Sugar. Marc Jacobs is one of my faves. This is what it looks like. It is like so pretty. Like, I think I might use that. <laughs> like, I go through those like nothing. So I think I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs. That's just really like my everyday. Like literally like, it's literally like my go-to lip gloss. So I'm actually just gonna put a little bit on. And the way I put it on is like, I kind of just swipe it on. I don't like mix it in with my lipstick cause that's how the shine goes away. And the glitter. I like for my glitter to like really stand out. So I literally put it on top, you know? See, I gotta keep dipping back in cause I'm running out. Just like that. You see how I didn't like rub it in? And I didn't even like rub my lips together. I really want that shine to stand out. This is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my makeup that I do for like every day. I don't really do eyeshadow anymore. This is like literally my go-to right now and I am like obsessed with it. All of the products that I use right now, I'm like in love with. I probably won't change for a while because I feel like it just goes with my aesthetic. It just goes with my skin right now. It just goes with my vibe. And yeah, everything that I use is going to be linked down below. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as it was highly requested. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe down below so that you don't miss an upload. And make sure you like this video so that I can know that you are in tune and you are liking this type of content so that I can create more for you. And I want to say I appreciate you guys so much and I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.